What's up everybody, it's Bobby. Just a real quick uh, product review for you guys today. Now, the product I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today is the Apple Wireless Mighty Mouse. Now, um, this is a option that you can have on any Mac that you buy. There's an option always to upgrade your mouse to the Wireless Mighty Mouse. And it, I think it is a very good investment and I highly recommend that anybody buying a Mac spends the extra, I'm not sure how much it is for an upgrade when you're buying a computer, but to buy this mouse uh, alone, it is $70, and I think it is highly worth it. It's a great product, and I'm just going to be going over some of the features and what I liked and what I didn't like about it. Now, the first thing, there's a couple things that make the Mighty Mouse uh, so, like, revolutionary and special, and um, I'm just going to go over those features. So, as you guys see right here on the top, it has a scroll ball, which does have a lot of flaws, but it does work very well. It does scroll up and down. I'm going to be going over uh, that a little bit more in a minute. It has these two force-sensitive buttons on the side that you can customize in uh, the system preferences to do whatever you want, but I think by default they are expose, which is always nice to have and um, their buttons are very easily uh, accessible when you're holding it. Um, by default this mouse only has one click you, so that means if you click it on the right or the left either side it will only um, respond as a single click but or as a left side click yeah left side click but um, in the system preferences you can also set it so that uh, you can have right click and left click with the with this mouse so people who are complaining about how they don't like Apple my uh, mouses because they only have left click um, that isn't true because you can set it to do right click and left click so that does work very well very well um, this runs on Bluetooth and this connects to your computer via Bluetooth and it works absolutely seamlessly I've never had any problems with it being laggy or unresponsive or you have to wait a couple seconds for it to connect with the device after your computer has been asleep I've never had any problems with that it always connects automatically and works very well but um yeah so that's just another plus for this mouse another thing about this mouse is on the bottom it has laser tracking which you can turn off and on by uh, sliding this little door on the bottom and um, this does work very well, but this uh, once you close that bot, uh, once you close this thing, that will make you lose connection with the computer, and will turn the Bluetooth off. And as I'm doing it right now, it still hasn't reconnected, and that is kind of a problem for me. And I don't like it, and it just reconnected. So it takes about five to ten seconds for it to reconnect with the computer once you slide this little door up. Now, some of the cons about this mouse. One thing is you have to change the batteries. This doesn't use any energy from your computer it's all b powered by battery which is accessible by lifting up this bottom panel right here on the bottom and the thing I really don't like about this is one the panel is really really difficult to lift up like it takes me at least a couple minutes every single time I need to change the batteries um, to lift this panel up now the nice thing about uh, the batteries though is this thing barely uses very much battery life. I've had this for about eight months, maybe eight to ten months. I got maybe yeah, about ten months. And um it I only have to change the battery once every two months, which is really nice, so you don't have to worry about it. And it'll give you some heads up display on your desktop computer screen, letting you know that um the uh batteries are getting low and generally when it tells you that it's getting low you still have a lot of time to use the mouse before it actually completely dies on you so that is another plus about this mouse even though you do have to change the batteries it um, will give you a good heads up and the batteries you barely ever have to change you have to change it once every two months so that's always a plus now um, other than that there's one more thing I wanted to talk to you about the one of the major flaws with the wired and wireless mighty mouse I have both and this has been a common problem for every single wire or uh, mighty mouse that I've ever used um, continuously is the scroll ball sometimes gets stuck now all the oil and gunk on your fingers from scrolling on this ball all day and stuff like that a lot of it builds up and sometimes uh, a lot of the times it will um, build up so much that you can't scroll up or you can't scroll down or you can't scroll right or left and that is a big big problem for me a lot of the times you'll be uh, able to scroll up but then when you try to scroll down it won't do anything and it is a huge hassle and people 
people have been uh, giving this mouse like really bad reviews because of that one flaw that it does have and I think Apple needs to fix this but there is a way to get around this people will say that they've taken apart their mouse and sprayed like uh, like air blown this thing in to get all the dust and lint off of it there is actually an easier way to clean this mouse uh, the scroll ball off without um without taking it apart. Now what you're going to do if this scroll ball does get stuck on you, you're going to take a white blank piece of paper, I'll just use this for example, even though this isn't exactly a white blank piece of paper, you're going to take your mouse and you're going to go upside down and you're just going to scroll around in circles and let the scroll ball move around and just keep going up and down, up and down, up and down, all around on this piece of paper until you see the restricted movement on your computer screen come back. So an, an easy way to test this to see if it actually worked is open up a Safari page like the Apple homepage or something like that and if you're in Safari you'll see that there's the right little scroll ball on the right hand side and you, um, if you do come across this problem you'll know which direction is not responding for you and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna turn it over move it around like this move it around like this until you see the restricted movement come back it will work it's worked every time for me it just takes a little while so be patient with it but th there is a way around this problem I don't have this problem that often but when you do run across this problem it is always nice to know what to do and I guarantee you if you do buy this mouse you will run into that problem so uh, overall I give this mouse a solid three stars and that is the rating on the Apple website and I think that is a very accurate uh, rating it does have a lot of customizable features but not as many as some other mouses or mice do like the Logitech Pro series the really nice mice they have and other mice um, that are more expensive than this one but overall it is a very solid very compatible very uh, reliable product that you can get from Apple like most Apple products are I highly recommend this to anybody buying a new Mac and anybody looking to get a simple wireless mouse upgrade um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time peace